friends, Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Farah Feeds. How are you all? Uh, well, today is going to be a biryani recipe. Uh, we've been a little bored cooking our regular biryani. So for a change, actually, we want to try a different style of biryani. So I'm using the Jiraga Jamba rice to cook this biryani. I have soaked in about three cups. So this is my measuring cup. So I have soaked in about three cups of rice. And yeah, this is uh, profoundly called as the Dindical Talapa Kati Biryani where they don't use tomatoes they just cook the biryani with a yogurt so i will i will tell you uh, you know the ingredients that i would be adding as i proceed with my uh, recipe so let's quickly begin i'm sure most of you will be aware of this uh, biryani it's very popular in fact so for a change i thought i will cook this biryani for my family and i'm cooking very little quantity in fact so let's begin so to this, I'm going to, to the, to my blender, I'm going to be adding shallots close to 20 approximately. Then I'm going to add one green chili because I don't want it to be very spicy. In fact, when the chilies are blended, it will be really very tough on spice. So just one green chili. And then I'm adding generous quantity of coriander leaves and a little mint leaves. So there goes in. I think I just need to stuff it. perfect and uh, the rest of the spices i have here uh, i have cumin seeds close to one spoon then i have the whole fennel seeds one spoon then i'm having one black cardamom two cinnamon three cloves i'm sorry three cardamom and four to five cloves and then two spoons of the peppercorns all right that's about it so we are just going to blend all these ingredients together for our recipe and along with this i'm also going to add in about uh three spoons of ginger garlic paste generous uh, spoon of ginger garlic paste in fact yeah so I hope you can see this. I'm going to blend this and get back to you soon. A quick note, be generous with your ginger garlic paste. Three spoons is generous quantity. If not, four spoons is mandatory for this recipe. Perfect friends. So I have, you know, kept my water to boil here first. So let it keep boiling and have added close to about uh, one and a half spoon of salt to it. So the rice is soaking there. We have blended the spice mix as well. So all good to go. Let's begin with the recipe quickly. I'm adding close to 100 ml of oil. This is for about half kg mutton. I'm using three cups of rice. So it will be just nice to serve one meal. <laughs> in the sense you won't be able to carry forward it for your dinner or the next day in fact. So perfect. So this is the blended paste. We are going to add this to the oil. So there goes the blended paste into the oil. And yeah, I'm just going to add one green chili because it's very long. And one green chili, I have blended it along with the paste. If you want it to be a little more spicy, of course, you can go ahead and add one more green chili. I'm, I'm just a little reluctant to add because uh, of the kids. Otherwise, you can just go and add one more green chili. So let, let me still fry this. To fry this until the raw smell evaporates. The flavor is too good in fact because of all the different spices that you add it gives a complete different aroma to the biryani it's not like the regular biryani so for a change once in a while uh, a quick note friends while you're still frying this base masala don't move from your place it will easily get burnt so keep stirring this constantly until you completely fry them there goes the base masala. I have stir fried to complete perfection. So the next ingredient would be our important mutton. So I will add in the mutton. And combine the masala along with the mutton and allow it to cook for a couple of minutes. That's a standard. So there is no change in that procedure. <laughs> I 
Okay, to this we will add a pinch of turmeric and then one spoon of coriander powder. I mean, one generous spoon of coriander powder. Cook this along with the muffin. Important are salt. Adding about one, two, three. At this point of time, later on we will check and if more salt is needed, we will add it. Perfect friends, all my tossing is done. So I'm going to add in yogurt. One uh, glass of yogurt. It is close to about 150 ml of yogurt. As I told you earlier, uh, I'm not sure if I told you, but for this recipe, we don't need tomatoes. Yogurt is the only flavor. So we are just adding a generous quantity of yogurt close to 150 ml. Alright, perfect. So all the ingredients I think we have added and let's add in the water for the mutton to cook. And give a quick mix. All good friends, I'm going to pressure cook this mutton and then I will get back to you soon. Welcome back friends. So the biryani gravy is ready. I'm just adding two of this quantity of coconut milk. Two spoons of coconut milk. Not much. Perfect. And some fresh mint leaves. And I'm going to add in two extra green chilies because I checked <coughs> the taste. I think it wasn't very spicy though. So I'm adding two green chilies. So to remember, uh, initially we added two green chilies, one for blending, then one green chili. And now we're adding two more. So totally four green chilies into this gravy. So I'm going to uh, mix the rice and get back to you soon. I have already uh, cooked my rice to three-fourth consistency. I have extracted all the water and kept it aside. I'm going to mix the rice with this biryani gravy. And then we are going for the dump procedure. All right, so I have mixed the rice well with the gravy. And finally, a little quantity of ghee. I usually don't prefer a lot of ghee in my biryani because it will make you feel so heavy that you won't be able to eat. So, four ghee spoons is the quantity what I'm adding. A little ghee. And I'm gonna close this. Don't forget to place your tawa at the bottom. I have already placed the tawa for giving the dum in the bottom. So there goes. We are not going to put any whistle at the moment. Instead, we are just going to, you know, keep a glass over. Well, I'm just going to cover it up with a thunder. So leave it in sin. Perfect. And uh, let this dum. I think it's going to take about roughly about 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, and I will get back to you soon once the biryani is ready. We are looking forward to, in fact, can't wait, really hungry. See you soon, friends. Welcome back, friends. Well, the Talapa Khatti mutton biryani is ready. So I will quickly transfer this to my dish plate and I will show you.